Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my handbag collection part two. You guys were really into my first video. If you haven't checked it out, please do. Uh, so today I'm excited to show you a little bit extra stuff that I have. I wanted to say a huge thank you to The Real Real for partnering up with me for this video. I wanted to spread the word about The Real Real because if you're looking for a designer bag, that's the place to go. So The Real Real is a consignment website and app that sells brands like Chanel, Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton with up to 90% off. They have a lot of experts that specialize in all these goods and make sure that everything is authentic and real. If you have designer bags that you want to sell and make a little bit of money and maybe get a new one, there are three ways to consign with The Real Real. So number one, you send your item through the website. You can see all the information there. And then the second is you can actually call for an expert to come to your house and pick it up or you can drop it at two of their locations in New York and LA. This is a great way to purchase your first designer bag for a really really good price. If you're in the market for a new bag you guys can find similar versions of all the bags I'll be showing and mentioning and many more on the real real for up to 90% off retail. You heard me 90% off. I attached a link in the description box that you can use and receive $25 off your first order on the real Real, real get it girls so the first bag that I want to show you guys is are you ready this is gonna be mind-blowing because you know I've never worn this before a Chanel bag this is my jumbo Chanel this is one of the first bags that I've ever that I've ever gotten and it is big this is also lambskin in black with silver um, hardware that was at a time where I tied gold is like so extra look at me now gold 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 so you know things change I got this bag probably like eight years ago and I would say that I haven't worn it in probably five because I was really at a phase where only small bags things that are very you know easy to carry I started wearing this about maybe three four months ago more and I've been wearing it almost every single day it fits my laptop and it's just kind of that perfect like luxury but kind of you know chilled type of bag that I can take to any meetings or places where I don't want to necessarily come in with a bright red Birkin. This has been actually a really really great bag and it carries quite a bit. It has a lot of space in it. Oh, I found my prescription! Yay! So this is just kind of to show you that sometimes you buy bags and then you know you kind of go on and off about loving them but when you really invest in a good great bag it will always come back. The next bag that I wanted to show you is this little Louis Vuitton mini traveler I think it's called I don't know so I actually bought the backpack the one that is a size up from it it had much more defined straps and it was bigger so it kind of fit a lot more things and I used it a lot like I used it so much but what started happening was that this part of the bag started kind of scraping off. I got really annoyed because obviously you purchase a designer bag, you want to make sure that the quality is good. I knew they might give me trouble saying that it's a wear and tear, it's something that it's my responsibility. So I was just like, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna behave like this is unacceptable and I'm not gonna leave them any choice to even doubt this replacement. So I went in there to Louis Vuitton and I was like, listen to me. And then the girl was like, like, listen, um, this doesn't look like wear and tear, it looks like a defect, so we're gonna refund you the full amount for the backpack. Let me remind you that I've worn it for maybe like two, three years at that point. I literally got so much use out of it. So she's like, we're gonna refund you the full amount, but you know what, it actually went up in price, so we're gonna refund you the amount that it is now. I was like, what? What? So then this little baby was like shining from the side and I asked to see it. I'm carrying it as kind of one strap, but it actually comes with two straps. This is the thickness of them and it's much easier to carry. It's still pretty roomy. Like I obviously can put, you know, my 
iPad and stuff that I used to carry in the other one. Now that the iPhone is so big, I don't need an iPad. It kind of fits everything that I need to and it's just a kind of bag that I can just grab with me and go anywhere. Then they also told me that I have the option to customize it, which made me really excited because that's gonna make it kind of like a one of a kind. So the whole kind of story behind a traveler bag is that you put kind of stamps of the places that you either want to go to or been before. So I was sitting there and choosing what I wanted. I really like the pink thing. This is a Miami sticker, but honestly not because has any emotional connection to Miami it's just it's pink this one is the Pisa so this is Italy it's actually a place I've never been to before I'm looking forward to going to Italy hopefully someday this is just the Louis Vuitton kind of stamp this is actually a Louis Vuitton bag that they came out with 1800 or something you can just customize it and you see it's Valeria L if anyone's used that bag you better change your name to Valeria L I'm super happy actually with this uh, bag. I've been wearing it a lot and I'm sure you've seen it. Other bloggers uh, have it. The next bag that I wanted to show you is this one and you probably haven't seen this one on my social media at all. This is from Valentino. Valentino has very defined style with their uh, studs. I actually found this bag at Winners and Winners is the Canadian version of I would say Target or Marshalls. So when I've seen saw that I was like what Valentino at winners and it was actually half the price than it was online on Valentino's website the bag was at like current collection so I was just like oh my god this is so cool I'm for sure gonna wear it I'm for sure gonna wear it it's such an iconic bag and I've never worn it I'm looking at it and I love it but then I'm like I'll never wear it basically I need to sell it because it's a waste like someone can really rock this bag it's really cute and I feel like if you wear, you know, kind of an understatement outfit, this is a cool bag to have. Don't ever buy a bag just because it's half price and designer. I've learned my lesson. And then the last two bags that I wanted to share with you are recent presents from my superstar husband Gary. If you guys are new to the channel, you probably haven't seen my birthday vlog, so check it out. But Gary really, really went out of his way and redefined hashtag goals husband this year for my birthday. So on my last video, I showed you guys the Birkin that I got as a push present and I was saying that I would never get a Birkin uh, from Hermes ever again just because I felt like it wasn't really working with my lifestyle. I did mention that I would love to get myself a Kelly which is kind of a more usable bag. The bag that I specifically talk about is this one. So this brown color is something that's pretty iconic for Hermes. The size is 25 and it's with gold hardware. This was like my dream bag that I knew that is gonna be one hell of a journey to get so i just kind of put it out there uh, because i truly believe when you put like you know kind of your intentions out there in any level materialistic or you know spiritual it manifests itself so my manifestation came in the shape of gary the super husband so he saw this and he started going on a freaking adventure of a lifetime to find me this bag. The girls at Valeria Inc. knew what was going on the whole time. As I mentioned in my previous video, it's impossible to get Birkins or Kelly's at Hermes. They're like non-existent and people go on years of like waiting list to get a phone call saying that there's a Birkin or a Kelly in store and you can't really choose exactly what you want either. A consignment website is a great way to get bags that are maybe not available anymore and to find something that you like. Unfortunately, they didn't have that brown classic bag that I wanted. So Gary kept on the journey of finding it. Gary went to Vegas with a friend. He went to Hermes there. There was no Kelly's, no nothing. He tried to be annoying again, just like he was with my push present, the Birkin. That didn't work. It was impossible for him to find anything. So he started contacting these people that are kind of collecting uh, Birkins and bags and they sell them. They would put themselves on like waiting lists and then get the bag and then sell them, resell them for higher value, I guess. He found this one woman who's like a very trusted source for Hermes in general he told her okay I want this bag and I he showed me afterwards all the kind of conversation that he was having with her and she was like I, it's impossible to get this bag I have this one and this one and this one and he's like no 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 I need this one I need this one and obviously he wanted to make sure that I'll have it for my birthday so before she found this bag he went to her mess store 
and that was in Vegas and they offered him this one so this is also a Kelly and this is in 25 this is such a gorgeous color it's not red it's kind of like pinkish matte i don't know if you can really see it with gold hardware uh with a long strap which is amazing so he bought this one because he wanted to make sure that he has something in case he won't be able to get this one and then the lady calls him and told him i found one kelly in brown exactly what you want in geneva and i can make sure that it gets here in time but you have to come and pick it up the dedication is insane so for my birthday i wasn't expecting anything i'm never like really big into these like huge gestures i'm honestly so grateful and love everything and feel so like fulfilled and i don't need anything else we had a dinner party and he surprised me with his gift which was a donation to the jesse center which is a center for young women that have financial trouble or need support or anything like that so so that was such a beautiful gift on its own as the evening went on he took ben outside he made him bring this kind of box the hermes box and it was all wrapped up so i opened it i was like oh my god i can't believe it this is so amazing he was telling me how i'm so sorry this is not the exact one that you wanted but this is all i could get i was like are you insane this is amazing thank you so much then he did this other trick where he made the waiter come in with this box that was also wrapped the waiter told me valeria a fan dropped it off for you for your birthday and i was like a fan that's so creepy we're in the restaurant with the whole family like how did anyone know where i am i opened the box and um i see an orange box which is a hermes box i peed my my pants not even a joke i was also like nine months pregnant so there was not a lot of support there i opened the bag and i see this beautiful baby i was just so in shock the bags are beautiful and i'm so thankful for that but the actual trouble and the amount of effort and energy finding these bags just wowed me on another level i think that was kind of the biggest gift for me to see how much he loves me and how much of an effort he went through to get something that he knew that I wanted. It was just so amazing. It's good to have a reminder of how grateful and fortunate and lucky I am to find a man that will go above and beyond to make me happy. I love you, Gary, you are the best. This is it. This is part two of my handbag collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was just kind of a little like girl time video sharing a little bit of the stories and the joy that bags bring you just for a little bit it's not the key to happiness i would love to know what is your dream bag like what bag do you look at and be like oh my god this will be mine so i want to know let me know in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time love you gary